scene in Brooklyn, New York. Like an awful page out of the blitz which wartime London knew. This is what confronted investigators probing the nation's worst air disaster. The grisly facts have been reported. Now the experts must find the answer, if possible, to why it all happened. The DC-8 jet which crashed here in a densely populated section of Brooklyn was off its course, 11 miles from where it should have been, so the chief of the Federal Aviation Agency reveals in Washington. While no attempt is made to fix responsibility for the crash pending completion of investigations, he says the jet was supposed to have circled in a holding pattern over New Jersey, awaiting clearance to make its approach to Idlewild Airport. Its mid-air collision with a super constellation took the lives of all 128 persons aboard the plane. A boy of 11, briefly, was the sole surviving passenger until he, too, died of injuries. Apparently, six others were killed on the ground when the jet plowed into several brownstones. This edifice, the Pillar of Fire Church, it had stood for 75 years, was crashed into and demolished by the jet. Across the bay in Staten Island at the Army's Miller Field, parts of the ill-fated super constellation were scattered in all directions. Almost miraculously, not a home was touched here. At this holiday season, when homes would know joy, people everywhere share the sorrow of those touched personally by the disaster. Fog still blankets the church steeple hit by a crashing plane in thick mist in Munich, West Germany. Circumstances similar to the New York crash, Christmas travel, the foul weather, and fiery disaster, and the heartbreaking toll. 20 Americans aboard a U.S. Air Force transport plane and 29 holiday shoppers on the ground. Twelve of the dead were young students bound from Munich for a Christmas reunion with their parents in Britain. This was the streetcar hit by the transport. Again, investigators began a probe of the crash as the impact was felt everywhere.